Welcome to week five of project cost management. This week we are learning how to create a project budget. This video shows you how to create your estimate and quotation sheets created in week four and consolidate them to create a time phase budget. There's a few files you need open. Uh, one of them you will have to open up is the week five time phase budget template found on week five of Fanshawe Online. And when you open it, it should look like this. This is what you should see. You'll also want to open your estimate and quotation sheets from last week. And you'll also want to open your uh, schedule created in Microsoft Project for your deck in Project Time Management. If you have not, if you are not taking Project Time Management and have not taken it, you'll need to send me your work breakdown structure for your deck in Microsoft Project so I can create a schedule for you. So you'll need that open. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to add a column in your Microsoft Project Deck project with the WBS code. So you're going to right click on the task name column, you're going to click insert column, and we're going to find WBS. So there we go, there's our WBS uh, codes. So we need that. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the week five time phase budget uh, template and you're going to copy this template into your estimate and quotation sheets file. So we're going to right click on the tab, we're going to click move or copy, you're going to click copy and you want to put it into your estimate and quotation sheet. So make sure you click on that file and you want it before the first sheet. So click on OK. So now that template is in with your estimate and quotation sheets. Now I only have two estimate and quotation sheets, you should have uh, 20 or 30 for your entire deck project, but this is just an example. So we have our uh, time phase budget template in the same files or estimate and quotation sheets. What you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to copy your WBS codes and task names into that file. So highlight those two columns, right click, copy, open up this, and paste them in there. So there we go, we have all the work packages and uh, summary activities in there. So we're going to want to get rid of the summary activities, we only want the work packages here. So delete the titles and anything that's bold. Again, work packages are the uh, lowest level of your work breakdown structure and that's uh, what we want in our budget. Okay, so we're left with just work packages. So now we want to time phase our budget. So our first activity is get building permit and if we go to that uh, work package estimate and quotation sheet we see our total cost is $279.93. We don't want profit in with our uh, budget. It's profit's not part of the budget, it's uh, part of the price. So we need to time phase that over the period that it's occurring in. And to see when it's happening, we go to our Microsoft Project schedule and we can see getting a building permit, in my case, is taking five days and it's starting on December 20th and finishing on December 27th. And there's two, uh, Saturday and Sunday in there, so work isn't happening. So I want to schedule um, spread that $280 over five days, but not on the weekends. So that's what we're going to have to do. So on our time phase budget, how you can do this, it starts on December 20th, so put your cursor in there, click on that cell, hit the equal sign, go to 1.1.1, click on the total gross labor plus bought out costs, okay, and I want to spread it over five days, so I click on that, divided by five. So each day we're spending $55.99 on it. Now I'm going to put a dollar sign um, on this. Okay. And that means I can copy and paste this formula. So I'm going to click on $55.99, copy, and paste it over the five days. And as you can see, I have 
um, done it from the 20th to the 27th and I have left out the weekends. So that's the get building permit. So you will need to do that for each work package and so you look at your schedule to see where it's spread over and you'll want to make sure you're not uh, having work happen on the weekends. So let's try one more. So 1.4.1 1. um, which is uh, dig post holes. So if we look at our schedule, 1.4.1 1. starts on December 31st and finishes on December 31st. So that's easy. We just need that spread over that one day. So let's uh, go to 1.4.1 1. and it's on December 31st. So let's go to December 31st. We'll hit the equal sign, go to that estimate and quotation sheet, grab the costs and hit enter. So we don't have to divide it or spread it out over any other but one day. And as you can see my formulas on the side uh, total it up and then it also totals it up uh, on the bottom as well. Okay, so we need um, these totaled up here. Okay, and it will also help us create a graph. So we want to show how that budget is being spent over time. So you'll want to create that graph. So hopefully that helps you get started in creating your time phase budget. You'll be required to submit it in week eight. So you can start working on creating that now. If you have any questions, please contact.